Hello and greetings my friends. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through my Winco shopping cart. I'm gonna show you everything that I got. I'm gonna go through my dinner list, which I'm very, very excited about. There's gonna be a dinner video to follow that, so make sure you're subscribed. So let's get right into the video. All right guys, I'm very excited about this week's dinner. I'm gonna be doing all Instant Pot dinners, except for one meal and I'll explain, but I'm gonna do a video just on Instant Pot dinners because I have it, I never really use it that often, so I'm excited to try out some new recipes, so let's start with the very first thing, celery. So I started perusing Pinterest and one of the recipes I found was for a chicken and dumpling recipe. That is definitely out of my comfort zone. I'm excited to give it a try, but it does call for some celery, so I got that. I also got two bags of frozen peas, and I believe one of these bags is actually gonna go into that chicken and dumpling recipe, but then the other bag is just to have on hand because there are nights where you know, you, you make a dinner list and you're like, okay, I have my whole dinner menu all made up, but then it comes down to it and you're exhausted from making the main dish. So you're like, I don't even want to touch a vegetable. So having frozen vegetables in your freezer will definitely save you on time. I picked up a loaf of Texas toast. I'm going to make some French toast. I love making French toast to have in our freezer so that it makes for quick breakfast. And I will post um, a link to my recipe down below. A couple months back, I was having issues with my daughters having fevers and I was asking some recommendations on how to get her medicine. And someone had mentioned chocolate pudding or like chocolate sauce. So I'm just keeping this in the pantry to have so that if she ever gets sick again and we need to give her some medicine, I can mix it in with this chocolate pudding. I'm sure my boys are gonna be so upset that it's in the pantry and they can't touch it. I have four Greek yogurts, the Oikos brand. These are gonna be for my husband's lunches. He loves these Greek yogurts, so I always get those for him. I do have an upcoming kids lunchbox video coming up at the end of this month, and I'm gonna be using some pita bread for one of the lunches, so stay tuned for that. I have some sour cream. I always just like to have sour cream. Of course, I could use the Greek yogurt that I get from Costco, but sometimes I like to have sour cream just to have it. Down here, I did get some La Mexicana salsa. This is a cantina salsa. They have a different, they have a whole bunch of different ones, but I decided to get this. Of course, I love the green one from Walmart, but I'm hoarding that. And so this I just have as a backup for our fridge for the kids because they really enjoy having chips and salsa as a snack. Back here, I have a big bottle of vegetable oil. There was no reason for me to get it. I just noticed that I was out, so I have it just in case. One of the recipes I'm looking forward to making here soon is like a lemon pudding cake. Oh my gosh, if you guys have never tried it, I'm hopefully gonna make a blog post for that, but Basically, it's just like like a lemon cake mix with lemon jello and then lemon juice. It's so easy, so good. It's like a poke cake if you've ever heard of those. So hopefully I will have a recipe for that. I did get a bag of some bulk oregano. I am trying to switch over all of our spice containers into glass jars that, that I get from Target. And so I will buy those and then I will just replenish them as needed with the bulk spices from Winco. All right, let's get into another meal that I'm gonna be making. I needed some mild Italian sausage. Now this is gonna go into an Olive Garden Zuppa Toscana. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I don't think I've ever actually tried this soup. I, it's been many years since I've been to Olive Garden, but the recipe got great reviews, so I'm excited to give that a try. I also picked up some uh, garlic. I got two heads of garlic and some white onions here to make for any of the dishes I'm making. I have some green onions. I think this is going on top of some dish, I don't know, I don't know, something. It's going on top of something. And then I have some bananas back here. I mentioned in my Costco haul that the bananas from Costco were like super green and I didn't want to get too many. So we have gone through all of those bananas from Costco, so now I needed to get some more. I have two bunches of kale back here. These are going into that Zupa Toscana. Am I even saying that right? That I'm gonna be making, but also if this is too much, I couldn't remember how much I needed. Of course, I can always use this kale for my smoothies. I did get some fresh green beans so that I can have as a side to one of our dinners. I have some bulk penne pasta. This is about a pound. I think it's a little over a pound. And this is gonna go into a crack chicken penne instant pot recipe. Very excited to try that one. So I did get some chicken breasts from my most recent Costco haul, but I like to get this type of chicken too at Winco because this helps supplement my Costco supply. So sometimes in a pouch from Costco, you get either like two breasts or maybe one large breast. 
sometimes every once in a while one of those breasts aren't as large as I was expecting so what I do is whenever I pick up chicken from from Winco I like to individually wrap these chicken breasts so that I have just individual chicken breasts in the free in the freezer that I can supplement for those pouches if that makes sense so I like doing that I'm gonna wrap all of these once I'm done filming here I got an assortment of charcuterie meats uh, again this is gonna be in part of a kid's video but also for us to snack on more berries I have some blueberries Costco did not have any so I got two of these little pints back here and then I have two strawberry ones back here too and those are gonna go into mason jars some Triscuit crackers again for a lunchbox video and then for me and my husband we love Triscuit crackers for the chicken and dumplings she said you can either make your own biscuits or just buy them so I'm gonna do the easy route just to see how it goes I've never attempted to make my own biscuits before so I just got the buttermilk eight count uh, biscuits some oranges so one of the other recipes I'm making is an instant pot orange chicken it called for orange juice we're not huge fans of orange juice so I decided to just get fresh oranges and I'll just use the juice and the and the zest from the oranges I got some unbleached flour and some sugar because I do plan on making a few more recipes in the next week or two so I needed to stock up on that usually I get Honeycrisp apples, but they were not looking that great. So I decided to get these are envy Envy apples. I'm not sure if these are good eating apples. The price was pretty good So I just got four of them. My kids really like to have apple slices I have a block of sharp cheddar cheese. This is gonna go on top of the crack chicken penne a packet of ranch seasoning This is also gonna go into the crack chicken penne recipe. This is not for me But I picked this up for my mom She wanted some Hawaiian ham because they have some great deli meats there If you ever if you have a Winco near you guys, you need to check out their deli department They have a good seafood department. I never I don't think I've ever bought anything from their seafood I should try sometime but I did get her a little bit of Hawaiian ham I picked up some tomatoes because I like to have tomatoes in my fridge to be able to just kind of stick them into sandwiches or wraps which by the way they didn't have any wraps I was hoping to find some because lately I've not been into bread as much I just want like the what's inside the sandwich if I make a sandwich so no wraps, wah, that's sad. But anyway, so I like, I usually like to put tomatoes inside my wraps too. I have two cans of tomato sauce. I cannot recall what this is going into. This is going into one of the four dishes I'm making for the Instant Pot. And then the very last thing is a big 10 pound bag of russet potatoes because the potatoes are going into um, that Olive Garden soup, but also I'm gonna make some meatloaf. My husband is away, um, and when he's away, that means we get to eat the foods that he doesn't necessarily like. So we just had some spaghetti and meatballs. He's not a fan of spaghetti, so I decided to make that. But he's also not a fan of meatloaf, and I enjoy meatloaf. I think it's so good with mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna make some meatloaf here. I already have all the ingredients for that here at the house, so I'm gonna make that for dinner as well this week. All right, you guys, again, very excited to try out these new recipes and hopefully they turn out good the re reviews for all of these recipes were really really high and that's one of the things I like to do is I really like to research recipes I like to go through the comments and see what people say before trying it because I don't want to waste my ingredients and also this helps you guys too it's I'm kind of like your your guinea pig for some of these recipes if you are interested in trying out new recipes too all right my friends and that is it for this Winco haul I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel on your way out I would really appreciate your support and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.